All right, I had a question on Ethereum and where I think it could go for the rest of the year. So, um, you know, I think it'll be, you know, relatively stable for the rest of the year. Do I think it could come down, you know, towards the bottom of the five-day Gaussian channel? Yeah, uh, we'll get to more evidence of why I think so in just a moment. Uh, but, you know, around the $1,300 mark, you know, this low wick, that's where we should be holding, roughly. Uh, that would also kind of be, you know, maybe towards the end of, you know, July, August. Likely where the bottom of that five-day Gaussian would be. But look at the Bollinger Bands, right? It doesn't want it to go. The prices don't want to go any lower than here even, really. So maybe we don't get a move down that much more. Obviously, it'll rhyme with Bitcoin. Um, but, you know, it, it's kind of a little bit of trouble against Bitcoin. So the ETH BTC valuation is what you also want to be looking for. So in terms of fiat, I'm looking around 1375 um, for, for a low if we get down there. Uh, you can even drag this line over and you see the previous kind of tap right here, the exact price right there. So 13, that kind of backs that up. Also the bottom of the five day Gaussian channel. So I could see us maybe wicking down there, but you know, that's if, uh, you know, Bitcoin wants to have its, you know, wick down to, to, you know, 22, 23, whatever, whatever K there. Um, if that doesn't happen, right, Ethereum is looking relatively strong against US dollar, but let's scroll on down to ETHBTC here and look at the five day Gaussian channel, look at the double wicks against Bitcoin uh, turning red here. Um, but the bigger the bigger factor is the weekly has just turned red, holding resistance at um, you know the the weekly median uh, median Gaussian channel. Got it. Uh, with also another scary factor, uh, wick off of here. Um, Look at the Bollinger Bands. They're kind of looking primed to move lower. Now, this doesn't mean the valuation against fiat necessarily has to move way lower. Uh, but, you know, if you're holding just Bitcoin and Ethereum, it's probably best to convert a little bit of that Ethereum over to Bitcoin uh, when you get a flashing red weekly Gaussian channel uh, and just uh, hit resistance for the second time, kind of double topping right here from uh, late April and, you know, uh, again, early June, uh, now moving down. So, uh, you know, maybe you start to convert back if we hit this 200 again, like we did back in June of 2022, maybe we hit that again in the next couple of months, uh, you know, uh, August, um, uh, maybe, maybe six, eight, 12 weeks, something like that. But, you know, if we come down here, then going from Bitcoin back over to alts or especially Ethereum might be a great idea. So I'm looking at that 200, uh, as far as what to look for for Ethereum the remainder of the year, um, I'm looking, I, I would say this has a legit chance of hitting, especially with the, the red Gaussian channel on the weekly. That's where previous uh, support was for ETHBTC, and that's where I would look again.